Let's take a look at this problem. Natural log of the square root of x squared y over z to the third w to the fourth. Well, to begin with, we want, we want to split this into separate logs. To begin with the square root, we can rewrite that as x squared y over z to the third w to the fourth, all of it to the one half power. Um, to go from a radical to fractional power form, rational exponents, whatever number is in the slot right here, that's called your index. If there is no number, it's by default 2. So that's where this 2 came from. And then you automatically put a 1 here, and whatever's inside your radical just comes straight down. Okay. Now the main thing that's happening here, we got second power happening, we got third power happening, fourth power, one half power, we got multiplication, we got division. But the main thing happening is everything is being raised to the one half power. Well, we've got a property that says you can take your power, put it on the front. So that's one half natural log x squared y over z to the third w to the fourth. Now the main thing that's happening is division. We got something up on top, divide by something on the bottom. As we rewrite this uh, natural log into separate logs, we want to keep that one half in front of each one of them from here on out. So again, division becomes subtraction. So we've got one half ln of x squared y minus one half ln of z to the third w to the fourth. Now again, see, I uh, rewrote it as uh, multiplication. Now, if we look at what's inside these parentheses, x squared times y, z to the third times w to the fourth. The main thing that's happening in both sets of parentheses is multiplication. So we're going to rewrite multiplication as addition. So we've got one half natural log. Try it again. I'm still not awake. <laughs> one half uh, natural log x squared plus one half natural log of y. This minus here has to affect everything that follows it. So I'll put a parentheses and then uh, it'll put the sign of everything that's behind it. Now we said this also becomes addition. So we're going to have one half ln z to the third plus one half ln w to the fourth. Well, um, our goal is to get the variable by itself if we can. The y is by itself. We just have natural log of y. So that one's good. This one, we're going to take the power, put it out in front. So we've got 1 half times 2 natural log of x plus 1 half natural log of y. This minus, it's out in front, it's going to flip the sign of everything inside. So we're going to have a minus 1 half. And this one, take your power, put it out in front. So it becomes 3 natural log of z minus, again, I flip the sign. Then take, we're going to take that power and put it out in front. And we have natural log of w. Well, 1 half times 2 cancels. So we've got natural log of x plus 1 half natural log of y minus 1 half times 3 is 3 halves. Natural log of z. 1 half times 4 is 2, so that's minus 2 natural log of w. Notice all the variables are by themselves. We have x, y, z, and w, with, of course, the log in front of them. So we're done.